Growing up in the projects was very real for the day because everybody was poor, everybody was challenged. And mostly what I know from it looking back is it's even that much harder for people today, for single moms, for kids, for persons with disabilities, for people who are struggling on the street with mental health and addictions. And that's more than a half a million people struggling in poverty today in BC who want to move forward and have a full life. Growing up in this neighborhood was a challenging time. My dad was abusive to my mom. We escaped that situation um, and came here. And this was an important part of our success because it gave my mom safe, secure housing for her and my sister and myself. I'm not sure that if we hadn't have had the stability of housing like this, that would have been the case. My values came from my time in Raymer and the experiences that I had there. But I got lucky. My mother was a rock, and so it worked out for me. But there's lots of people who need an opportunity for it to work for them. It's not realistic to say you should improve your education, you should give up your addiction, you should go get a job. If you don't have a safe place to go home to at the end of the day, it's pretty hard to put those other pieces together. It's really about the fundamentals, having a roof over your head, having food, and having some hope of opportunity. And it's our job as government to create opportunities for people who have dreams and have things they want to accomplish and are being held back by poverty. And the challenge is how do you give them the confidence that they need? And that's part of the work that we need to do with this poverty reduction strategy. And that's what we're going to try to accomplish here as we move forward.